Brexit Fisheries Bombshell Gov vows EU fishermen can still use UK waters after divorce Michael Gov has undermined the future livelihoods of British fishermen by promising the Danes access to UK waters even after Britain has left the European Union EU. The Environment Secretary, 49, who only recently returned to the Cabinet after the general election, said during a visit to Denmark yesterday. Danish fishermen will still be able to catch large amounts of fish in British waters, even if the British leave the EU. He added, Britain has no fish cutters, those employed to clean, trim and bone fish, and production facilities enough to catch all the fish in British waters. Sick, Mr Gov previously stated under a fortnight ago that the UK would take back control of 200 miles of British fishing waters he said on the BBC's Andrew Marr show, when we leave the EU we'll become an independent coastal state and that means we can then extend control over our waters to 200 miles. Mr Gov also announced that British fishermen will have the exclusive rights to a 12-mile zone around the coastline under post-Brexit plans as we would no longer be bound by the common fisheries policy, stopping our near-European neighbours from fishing within 200 miles from our coastline essentially asserting exclusive fighting rights within our own waters The comments have already been blasted by UKIP's fisheries spokesman Mike Hookham saying that the UK's fishing grounds were being bartered. Away as a Brexit bargaining chip he said, Gov's comments prove the Conservatives are not serious about regaining our fishing grounds and are instead looking to barter them away around Europe in return for Brexit concessions. As in Edward Heath's day, the Conservatives are doing nothing more than stringing the British fishing industry along with vague promises when it is obvious they fully intend to sell Britain's rich fishing rights back to the EU post-Brexit. Mr Hookham added, the second betrayal of the fishing industry has been on the cards since the Conservatives failed to mention reclaiming our 200-mile fishing limit in their manifesto. The 200-mile EZ was a crucial demand of those who fought for Brexit and is something we are entitled to under international law. The fact that Gov is now openly telling EU fishing nations that they will still have access to British waters post-Brexit proves a second conservative betrayal of the British fishing industry is all but inevitable. It does not matter a damn that the British fishing industry may not currently have the capacity to process all the fish caught in British waters. This is nothing more than an excuse. With firm commitments from the government and the inclusion of legislation in the new fisheries bill that demands all fish caught in British waters are landing here, entrepreneurs within the fishing industry would find the investment and open new facilities to match the increased demand. Not only would this move bring large amounts of revenue into the UK, but it would also help to kickstart the regeneration and bring much needed jobs to many struggling coastal communities. However, who is going to start investing when there is still so much uncertainty? Michael Gov and the government need to take positive steps to show they are committed to reclaiming our waters, our fishing and our fishing industry, rather than making vague promises on one side, yet making the opposite promise on the other however, the problem is that the Conservatives neither understand or care about the fishing industry and see it as nothing more than a bargaining chip to be used at their leisure. Both Dutch and French fishermen have pleaded with the UK to be allowed access to Britain's lucrative fishing waters over fears that restrictions could lead to a fish shortage on the continent More than half of the seafood produced in the Netherlands is caught in British waters, mainly in the North Sea A a spokesperson said, leaving the EU means we will take back control of our territorial waters and for the first time in 50 years we will be able to grant fishing access for other countries. On our terms we will allocate quotas on the basis of what is scientifically sustainable, making sure we have a healthy marine environment and profitable fishing industry. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe English News Hub for new excited videos.